<laughs> hey you, how's it going? My name is Ruby Bryce and welcome to a week ago. At least I actually woke up in time today. And today is Advent Calendar Chocolate. Is the Milky Bar Kit. And it's some baubles. They're not ice creams. Who knows? Who knows? Oh man, I am having some Wi Fi issues today. And airdrop issues too. I couldn't even... It took me a good 20 minutes to get trailer that I made for a week ago to go from my MacBook to my phone. I'm surprised I even managed to get everything ready in time. And usually I can understand, like, if I'm uploading something, the Wi-Fi is really, really slow um, because we have really shit Wi-Fi here. I think the upload speed is something like 0.9 KBS, or it might be MBS. It's still very slow. But in other news, last week's a week ago, or Vlogmas number one is now live. If you're watching this and you haven't watched that, what are you doing? You are insulting the continuity gods. You need to repent for your sins. And the only way you can do that is by watching last week's a week ago. So, go watch it. So last night I came up with an idea for a video whilst I was trying to get to sleep and I scripted it out and I was going to film it today but because I woke up at the very late time of 12 o'clock um, I decided I'd just do it tomorrow instead because I've obviously had a week ago to sort out and been having food and having Wi-Fi trouble so it's taken me a very long time to do anything today. We've also been doing some job stuff, so who knows what's going to go on there. But yeah, so hopefully I get that film tomorrow and then sorted for Thursday. <laughs> I'm going to go and make a cup of tea because I could do with a drink. So my Wi-Fi issues are still persisting to the extent that I couldn't even load a Netflix thing. It's ridiculous today. Uh, my mum thinks it might be to do with Storm Diane, 21st century, got Wi-Fi that bloody doesn't even load up a YouTube video. So I realised last night after I'd got into bed, I forgot to even ask a question of the day, uh, which is, you know, bad form for Vlogmas, because that's one of the staples of Vlogmas. I'm not really sure what to ask for yesterday. Nowadays, you tend to see a lot more variety in what kind of advent calendars you get like you can get ones that are nail varnish you can get lego minifigs stuff like that what's your opinion on advent calendars does it have to be 24 pieces of chocolate or should it be 25 or could it be you know other stuff like gin advent calendars or stuff like that and speaking of advent calendars it's time for today's chocolate. Blah. Nah. Day four is a robin. Yes. And the chocolate is a little reindeer. Okie dokie, so if today goes to plan, I am filming a video. So let's hope it goes to plan. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, no more. Touch wood, but the Wi-Fi issues that I was having yesterday seem to have gone, so... Yay! That was a nightmare yesterday. Honestly, like, when your Wi-Fi can't even handle sending an e- Sending? <laughs> sending an email, there is something wrong. But everything seems to be working fine now, so... You know how I said if all things go to plan, I'll be filming a video today. I'm not having the most productive day. I just don't have the confidence in this video idea that I've got that I usually have with videos that I make and I just think it's really, really risky. It's one of those things, I just, putting this out I could potentially get the wrong sort of reaction 
and right now I can't do with that. Right now I can't take that. Yeah. Sorry. So yesterday I got a email from a radio station that I applied for a job for and all they really did was ask me to clarify if I was actually based in Huddersfield or not because it's obviously in London because the radio station's in London. So I told my mum that I got the email and, she, and she, all of a sudden she was starting planning my life in London because, you know, oh a reply, that must mean she's got the job. I'm like, I haven't even bloody been shortlisted for an interview yet. Jesus. It would be nice though. So I was just uh, reminded about an article that I read the other day about phones at gigs and that's basically made me think of today's vlogmas common question. Basically the article was phones at gigs can be annoying uh, but they shouldn't be banned because the message behind having phones at gigs changes a lot depending on what the gig is. For example, if you're at a very commercial pop gig it's more, you know, just documenting the thing for your own personal means. If you're at a very indie, unknown band's gig, what you're basically doing is promoting that band if you end up posting it to social media. Obviously, the whole thing doesn't really count if it's just staying in your photos for, or your Snapchat memories for months and years and stuff to never be seen again. Um, some people use it to document the fact that they're actually, it's, it's like appreciating art. You're going to a museum, and you are allowing yourself to relive the memories and stuff. My point is, uh, phones are gigs. If you're taking photos um, and you're not really bothering other people, in the sense that, you know, you're holding your phone at a reasonable height, you're not obscuring anyone's vision, you're not constantly on it, and you're still actually appreciating the music that's on, then yeah, phones are gigs are fine. What do you think? Phones are gigs, banned, not banned. Today's vlogmas comment question. It's not quite cooking with rubes because my mum's done this. But I thought I'd come and take some credit. So Yeah, tonight for tea we're having pasta bolognese. With garlic bread. Made with tagliatelle, fresh pasta. It's gonna be a good dinner. There's my thumbnail. So I sent the script of the video that I was going to film today to a friend and basically she's restored my faith in it so hopefully tomorrow I've got enough time to film it and edit it. So we'll see. There may yet be a video this week. This seems like a very secure system. Yeah, it's so basically my YouTube Watch Later playlist has got 60 videos in. And uh, I can multitask. So what I'm doing is I am putting them on at the same time as playing a game. Okay. So, so Wednesday the fifth of December. Where is Wednesday the fifth? There's the fifth. That's really confusing, 5 and 15, right next to each other. So what is it? It is a reindeer. More specifically, I'd say that's Rudolph. And the chocolate is... What the bloody hell is that? Someone please tell me what this is. That's what today's comment question is. What is this? So tonight I am working at 6.30, I am hopefully filming a video before then and getting some editing of it then. It's cold and wet I'm at the hospital because uh, my mum's having some blood tests done and she needed company. So I still haven't actually filmed that video yet but my plan is to film it when I get back because I'm not working until 6.30 and it's only 1 o'clock. I am running out of time though to get this video done today. Yeah, anyway, hopefully it uh, stops raining. And mum got me a pretzel, so. Mm. The weather today is absolutely horrendous. Let's see what's going on in Pokemon Go. Let's see what's Pokemon going on. Yeah, that, that. I'll, I'll leave. So when we get back, I'm gonna get ready, film this video. 
don't think I'm going to have time to edit it before I uh, go into work tonight. So I will have to edit it when I get back from work and leave it uploading overnight. So after everything, I'm back in front of here because in the new layout of my room, there isn't really anywhere that gets decent lighting for filming, which is a bit of a nightmare. Uh, but right now, currently setting up my microphone. Uh, for those of you who are interested, it's a Zoom H1 that I bought off eBay. I don't know how much for because I bought it in a bundle of stuff off a friend. But it's proven to be quite handy, this little thing. It's got a little stand, which I found out the other day was this. Pretty hell. I never knew. Anyway, so I've got my script, got a microphone pretty much ready now. I just need to actually set it up and stuff, and then we'll be ready. Yeah, that'll work fine. The only issue is it's picking up my mum in the lounge. Hey you, hey you, hey you. Let's go sort out my hair. And with a vlog filmed, which took a surprisingly long time to say, it's actually quite a short video. Um, I've got an hour and a half until I go to work, so I'm going to get all the files onto the computer and yeah, I'm still going to edit it tonight because I can't really be bothered rushing it. It's going to take a while. I've got a lot of syncing stuff to do, loads of claps and stuff like that. So yeah, going to have to think about what I'm going to do in terms of video locations for the future because the focusing was a bit of an issue when I used to do the videos in front of here. If I'm at this distance, it, it's fine because it realises that this is where I want it to be. But when I'm back here, you know, framing it a lot more properly, it's a bit like, is this me or am I breaking dawn? Is it Ruby or is it breaking dawn? What's the focus of this video? I'll tell you what, it's not. It's not Harry Potter and the Cursed Child piece of shit. There we go. Apparently I recorded the audio in 2010. Man, I was organised. Favourite thing ever, when you actually manage to figure out how to play a song that you've only actually heard twice. And so, he's going to get played on guitar. So I'm still getting the hang of it, but you know, I get the gist. Just got back from work and... Whew, man, I am tired. But you know, I've got stuff to do so I can't go to sleep. Right, let's get around to editing this. Let's see how long it takes. It's currently 20 past nine. I'm just starting. It's 10 o'clock. Nearly. Yeah, I'm actually quite happy with that. I can start exporting it and stuff. Got some ideas for the thumbnail. So, let's see how it goes. Yeah, today, uh, Spotify Wrapped has finally turned up. And uh, I've been going through mine. And it's rather... I'd say it's rather obvious, to be fair. So, I might as well talk you through it. Obviously, the first thing that they give you is your firsts. I started 2018 listening to the most overplayed song in history. It's a banger, trust me, but it's still undoubtedly overplayed. 15 and a half thousand minutes for me is not that bad because I don't really use Spotify that much. I prefer listening to it on vinyl 
or if I'm out and about, I won't use Spotify, I use iTunes, which is why I started using Last FM to track my music. But um, 91% more than last year, I think, is quite telling as to just how much how I use Spotify has changed because I use the Discover Weekly playlist a lot more. I use Spotify when I'm on my PS4 um, and I've been using it a lot for uh, connecting to the TV to play songs. What a surprise, top artist as it is. It's not like I spent 48 hours constantly listening to the Great Depression when that came out. 17 hours of playtime of specifically as it is. That's a lot. I didn't just listen to as it is on Spotify. I listened to it on vinyl. I listened to it on iTunes. I listened to it live for fuck's sake. The charts, top artists as it is, we already know. Strange Bones was an interesting one. Um, and I think that's come around because I have maybe three Strange Bones songs on my iTunes because I've seen Strange Bones a couple of times this year and in order for me to actually familiarise myself with Strange Bones songs I set up a playlist and basically just listen to them through over and over again. Uh, and Shikari, again, I went to see Shikari just over a year ago and since then I've just listened to a lot more into Shikari. Fallout Boy, Fallout Boy was one I wasn't expecting because one, I don't like modern Fallout Boy as in the last two albums. Like I say, this kind of just sums up my Spotify. I don't listen to stuff that I own really, apart from you know the previous three. Uh, I don't listen. I don't listen to. Um, I don't really use Spotify to listen to things that I already own. For the most part, dead. Yeah, dead. Um, when the Golden Age of Nottingham and Trying came out, I had that on a playlist with, for some reason, the Greatest Showman album. I had both of those albums on one playlist. I think I called it the Golden Age of the Greatest Show. What more can I say? Top songs, they're all from the Great Depression. So, enough said. Top genres, rock, yeah. I'm particularly rocky. Indie, yep, I've listened to a lot of indie bands this year. Punk, obviously, what can I say? Pop, yep, my music taste has basically been summed up as if it's a tune, it's a tune. I don't really care about stigmas of listening to pop music anymore. It's fun. Uh, dance electronic, yeah, quite odd, I know. Knife party. I went through a phase of listening to weird dance numbers from the 90s. Insomnia, faithless. We like to party. No Limits, yeah, that's what it was. I went through a phase of just constantly listening to those songs and basing the rest of the songs on my playlist around those. Top 100, I will go through that later. <laughs> Apparently, I'm adventurous because I listen to non-mainstream music. 55% more than the average Spotify listener. <laughs> the funniest thing about this one is that I didn't listen to this song for my own purposes. I listened to it when we did a Radio Hood show and someone else wanted to listen to it. Got you there Spotify, that's not that's not my data. This one confused me because I was like, why are you bringing star signs into it? And then it made sense. Yeah, Libra, like artists like Hugh Jackman and Zac Efron. And I bet you can guess what they're from. The Greatest Showman. 15 and a half thousand minutes listened. Top genre rock, as it is. Strange Burns, and Shikari, Fall Out Boy, Dead. And a lot of as it is. That's my 2018 Spotify listening. Let's see what it's like in a year. Tell you what though, it does actually kind of propose a good comment question of one, how do you listen to your music? What medium do you use? Are you a physical kind of person? Hey, are you a streaming kind of person? Or are you a MP3, as in? You're not streaming it, but you're getting it digitally. And secondly, what's your Spotify rap like if you use Spotify? Because one thing I like to talk about, it's music. <sighs> and now it's advent calendar time. Because I'm still in bed. Which means you... It's a snowman! Nah, I can't get the chocolate out from this angle. Yeah. 
Here we go. What is it? This is another thing that I do not know. So I started as a joke coming up with a little uh, melody thing um, for a song and it's turned into like a political Christmas protest song about Theresa May. Do you want a preview? Yeah, you, you, you do. Got it on my post-it notes and bear in mind I can't really sing so yeah there is that. Okay. Took a break from running to fields of wheat To put on my Christmas tree Though my husband made us look like a nut Cause there's a thing called boys and girls jobs There's a thing we said on video On BBC's The One Show <laughs> I, I, I fucked it up That's the thing we said on video On BBC's the one show back in 2017 Oh wait, was 1923 Took a break from running to feel the weed To put up my Christmas tree Now I'm dealing with Jacob Reese and Mom Who should have been put down like a dead dog Cause have you seen his policies? Constantly voting against OBGT Slipping I can't get that one line but his policies Constantly voting against the GPT Smoking indoors and increasing tax Go check it online, I'm presenting facts Um, yeah, so basically what I'm gonna do Is continue doing this today And Record it And hopefully get it out before Christmas Because I'm ha- Yeah I I like this. I like this a lot. Sorry I can't sing. And sorry I insist on doing so. But, you know. I spent 600 and something pounds on this. I'm not about to waste it. I recorded it. <laughs> the whole thing. I'm gonna do some edits and some re-records of certain parts. I'm genuinely going to um, submit this to Spotify. Rules for number one. <laughs> well, I said I was gonna submit it to Spotify. And I have. Whether it actually gets approved or not is a different matter, but if it doesn't, I'll stick it on Bandcamp. So, I guess we'll see. I need to come up with a concept for the music video now. Because, you know, I can't release a single without a music video, that's not how music works. You're listening to The Scene with Ollie Woodcock. Ollie Woodcock. BBC Radio Leeds. I feel like all of today's vlogging bits have been done in this chair. But, yeah, that's why I've spent most of my day, really. So I'm listening to Rated and writing my book because an interview that was on the scene really inspired me to uh, get back on with it so i'll leave a link to both rated and the scene in the description because you need to check out that interview with sophie cook i think her name was yeah it was fascinating so go and check it out oh man i think i've just written the best bit of writing I've spent a lot of time in bed today, but now at least I get some chocolate out of it. So, um, yeah, how are you guys doing? You doing good? Good. Ooh, it's a Christmas pudding. So I just got back from the shop, hence the coffee, and, um, Pokemon Go. I've put a Pokestop right behind my house. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> well, that gives my excuse for not getting seven day streaks. I guess you could consider that a bit of a downside. I no longer have an excuse to uh, be lazy. But yeah. I'm not going to complain about uh, more powerful Pokemon, research tasks and, and gifts. Because you can't have enough gifts. If you don't play Pokemon Go, this section has been pretty boring for you. 
If I had left, ten minutes later, I'd be drenched right now. It's bloody pissing it down, mate. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Yeah, as it is, I've, uh, te I've started teasing another tour, and there's already been a date uh, go live on Facebook, and it's in Bath, in a 200 capacity venue. And to me, that just means that it's going to be an intimate tour. Yeah, that's crazy. And they've said they're playing in locations that they didn't play on the last tour. So, Leeds is a possibility. Yeah, I'm anxiously awaiting it. And tickets for the bath one that they announced go live on Monday. Ooh, the event's just been deleted from Facebook. I just got the notification right now. They didn't mean to do that. Oh, I'm just waiting. As soon as they announce that, it's gonna be it's gonna be hell on to get tickets for that. Holy shit, it is now hailing outside. British weather, eh? Right? You cannot trust it whatsoever. The trailer for Avengers 4 is out. Yeah, I'm doing another Instagram cover, sue me. Have a look. Cool, so now I've done my social thing, I'm going to work. So I'll see you later. Well, I've had busier Friday nights, but you know, that was, it was all right. Yeah. I'm working in the morning as well at 10 a.m. But now, I'm gonna go and get some food. Oh man, back on that morning shift grind. Whew. I was not pleased about waking up this morning. Uh, but we get a treat today, yay. Christmas trees. It's not Christmas without a Christmas tree. Because I am Kevin McAllister, apparently. And speaking of Christmas, it's the eighth day of Vlogmas. And that means the eighth day of the advent calendar. It's presents. And the chocolate is a snowman, I think. No. A toy soldier? And yeah, like I said, I'm off to work. Ah, bloody hell, that was a busy one. Hmm. It's also raining. So yeah, gotta go to the shop and buy milk. In the rain. We've got a tree! It's a tree. It's a Christmas tree. It's got blue lights and everything. Yeah, Mum got about halfway through decorating and gave up. Um, Doing a bit more tomorrow and on Monday. So yeah, the house is gonna look all Christmassy. Yay! Anyway, they've just gone out, so I'm going to sit here, watch Yu-Gi-Oh! and eat pizza. Ah, so it's been a while since the last update today. Basically just because I've not really been doing anything, I've just, you know, just been procrastinating stuff because I've got to start editing this tonight. Which is why I've stopped procrastinating. But yeah, basically, uh, just a, another update. Um, a band that I rate really highly, Bang Bang Romeo, have announced that they are playing the Huddersfield Student Union Refreshers event in January. Basically, I think that um, Bang Bang Romeo are one of the best up-and-coming bands around. So I'm at Pride. We're Pride can fucking this And uh, I bought my ticket for that because it's in Huddersfield and it'll be good to see them live. That's something to look forward to next year. It's it's actually going to be the first gig that I have planned since, as it is, the other night. But yeah. Okay, a uh, comment question because one I've realised I didn't give you one for yesterday. So this will count as both. Since December started around, there's been a few posts on Facebook and social media about the Christmas song Fairy Tale of New York, and I'm pretty sure you can tell where I'm going with this because one, LGBT, two, 
Fairy Tale of New York 3, quite topical. There is a movement going around saying that the song needs to be censored because it uses the F word that I don't like. And obviously I'm not talking about fuck because I use that, you know, as common as something very common. So you're probably guessing what my opinion of this whole debate is. And you'd be wrong. You weren't expecting that, were you? As you can tell, I don't like using the word. In my opinion on the censoring of products of their time is that it's something that you shouldn't do because they are a product of their time. Yes, we can acknowledge that it's wrong, but to pretend it never happened is just as bad as committing the initial atrocity itself, and that's my opinion on that. Bringing it back to Fairy Tale of New York, obviously Kirsty McCall calls a straight man the F word. I can guarantee you, if you are in a, if you are in a room and that song's on and people are singing along, if there are LGBT people in that room, they will be singing along with you. Obviously I'm not painting all LGBT people with the same brush. There will be some people that find offence at non-LGBT people using said word. But like I say, I just don't think that you should censor it. And if it does bother you, sing the altered lyrics that I've seen going around of You scumbag, you maggot, you taped over taggart. But yeah. Comment question. <laughs> uh, what is your opinion on said topic? Just to know, my comments do have th that F word blacklisted, so you won't be able to use it in the comments. And now I should probably edit because it's quarter to 11. And I really should have started doing this hours ago. <laughs> Although, first, I'm going to make some tea because caffeine is necessary. Yes, it's the same gag as before, but I'm going to keep doing it because I like it. Everything's edited up to date now, so... Yeah. You can get some sleep on this fine Sunday morning. I did not want to get up. To the extent that I didn't get up. 12 o'clock which you know as far as Sundays go is not that bad to be fair so today is the Doctor Who season finale hopefully it's better than its name somehow made it quarter to three without actually realizing that I'd not opened my advent calendar yet so yeah it's just a horse with a Santa hat on its head yeah so I came up with the concept for the video for uh the Theresa May song and so I've just spent the last half an hour going through YouTube and finding loads of clips of Theresa May to download. That's something for me to do next week. Two hours to go to Doctor Who. It's time for Doctor Who! Hey! That's just teasing. And by my calculations, that's another week. So, yeah, I enjoyed Doctor Who. Thought it was a good season finale. Gotta wait till New Year. But yeah, it's been a week of stuff. Today's comment question is, predictably, did you watch Doctor Who? What have you, what's your thoughts been on this season entirely? What do you think of tonight's episode and all that stuff? Make some predictions for the New Year's Day special. What do you want to see in the next season of Doctor Who? That's a few comment questions, but as well as all the other comment questions. Cool. So if you enjoyed this, do all that YouTube stuff. I've been Ruby Press and I shall see you a week ago. Adios.